Hey beautiful people, welcome back to another vlog. I just did a whole intro in an American-esque accent and I know that's probably cringy so I'm just gonna stop right now. So welcome back to another vlog. I have not done a vlog in a while. I thought I would be doing loads of these during um, this lockdown and I think I've only posted like one or maybe two max in a matter of like a month or so which is not that good for me but we're back on track, you guys, and I feel cute today. I laid my hair, I did a cute little makeup look, and you know what? There is no real major plan for the day other than to sort out this wardrobe because a little bit messy there, a little bit messy there, and a little bit messy there. So I am not sure if I've actually shown you this on the vlog, but I did share when I did this on Instagram stories. So anyway, I've got like most of my earrings here. I need to put these ones back on um, And then I'm gonna put these on but I might actually just wear these today to be honest. So yeah, um, I'll link this down below <laughs> Okay, so my wardrobe room is as done as it's going to be for now because, yeah, there's not much I can do with it. It's not an office anymore at the moment because there's no desk. Usually I'd have a desk over there if you're new to my channel. Um, but I sold it and I'm planning to get a new one, but I'm not really in a rush because I want to like wait and make sure I find the right one this time um, with good storage and stuff and the right size. And then I would usually have a mirror over there but we don't have one anymore in this room because i've moved it to the hallway you know what i need to actually come to you guys correctly so let me sit down sit you down right over there and have a good old chin wag i need to say a huge thank you to those of you that are following me on instagram um instagram i'm not gonna lie they're beating you guys over here on youtube in terms of consistency and engagement and liking and commenting you guys i have gained so many new followers during this lockdown um and obviously it's a like it's a domino effect, right? So you create great content and that's been my focus, especially on Instagram. I've been going, I've been really trying with Instagram, taking loads of pictures. Basically, on Monday, I hit 16,000 followers on Instagram, which is just mad because like, how did that happen? I was just on 12K like a couple months ago. But in a matter of three days, I've gained 300 more followers. If I said subscribers, sorry about that, followers on Instagram. And I'm like, okay, what is going on? So I asked everyone, I said, hi, new followers. And I said, where are you even finding me? So many of them said they're finding me on their explore pages, which basically means that your girl has nailed the Instagram algorithm. I've got chairs, I've got nice seating, I've got plants behind me. And I just started to really see things as a, a, a good backdrop rather than oh that looks so nice I actually started to really be more calculated about what I wanted in my pictures um, which does sound mad but if this is your job you probably already know this but it took me a while to really get comfortable with doing this and being curated um, because I used to just think no things should just be natural but it, nobody works like that and the, the art of a good blogger is making an image look so natural and so oh this is how my life is but there is actually so much work that goes behind it. So once I realized that that's what these people are doing, I didn't feel so silly and actually really put energy into it. So I think you guys are seeing the work that's going into it and that's why the result is so good. To a point now where I have taken, a recent shoot that I did was for a brand. It was for Gillette um, and it was a bathroom picture. So I never really shot in my bathroom before. I think that's the only, the second picture I've ever taken in my bathroom ever, which is why I really want to do maybe something like this in the bathroom today because it just gives more of a like chill, relaxed vibe. So I might do that today and show you guys. Um, but my mind is always jumping from different ideas. So you will realize that. Um, but that, I brought my uh, my ring light tripod in there with my phone hyped on it somehow. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, guys. I use a hairband and tie it on and stuff. 
and I use self timer and I that took me sorry we're gonna show you all of that detail but that picture took me five minutes to create five minutes you guys because once I, I look at a place I'm like that's the angle that I want that's where the lighting's coming in make sure the phone camera is cleaned I cannot stress that enough the difference that it makes you guys you guys as you can see I'm really excited because I'm finally getting my Instagram to a place that I am proud of and I think the Instagram page says who I am it says that I'm youthful it says that I love style and I love interior so I'm constantly mixing my own images up of me my home and other inspiration pictures and details um, so I think it's starting to really tell a story in terms of who I am my YouTube channel however not so much but it is what it is I'm just gonna give you guys what you want right now but trust me there are so many projects coming like what's that behind me if you're new you don't know what that is but you'll learn and another room in the house that I'm gonna be redoing um, over the next couple of weeks so that's all coming I actually have some art coming soon that I will do a video of next month or is it June I think you guys will see that in June actually so you won't see that yet but it's coming <laughs> you guys so i've just eaten my lunch and i actually made the first rookie error which is to have a bowl of pasta before shooting something that shows a bit of my pouch so i'm gonna have to now hold an extra but whatever anyway i've put some earrings on these are the ones that i showed you from zara and then i've just wrapped like this necklace around my arm and a ring just so that i don't look too plain but obviously i am doing a whole like chill vibe so this is not a dressy look so i'm not going to put a necklace and all that on so i'm just walking around trying to find places to shoot now i did say that i did not want to shoot in my living room again but i'm going to try some new angles in here though so that it doesn't look as the same as other stuff first of all you want to make sure there aren't any things in the way that can ruin your picture so i do tend to take a lot of my pictures with the light on to me well all of my pictures have to have light on me if it's not natural light from the windows like right now then it will be using my ring light but i'm still going to use that anyway to secure my phone on it but i don't think i'll need the actual light on but we'll see so what i'm thinking is something around here i'm thinking to do something like this kind of angle um like leaning on the table i might have to just leave the table down a bit so let's see i don't know if it's gonna work guys i just shot this over here i did a couple earlier on the floor which i just wasn't really working with the light but i think over here was working and i only actually have one other picture in this angle over here so hopefully they look good and what i tend to do is i'll just go through them during my breaks and just like favorite the ones that are decent and then i do another like round of elimination um so my phone's just died so you guys if you are actually trying to be serious and dedicate you know maximize the day make sure everything is charged up i did not actually plan to do this today so i didn't charge up my camera i didn't charge up my phone so they're constantly dying and i'm having little breaks so as you can see the phone is dead but um, it should come on within the next couple minutes, but it's good because it just kind of gives me a pause that I actually kind of need. So I'm going to have some water and because it's so hot, I'm going to have a mini twister and I'm going to keep watching my show. Like I watch a bit of this episode. I'm watching Muck Mafia on Netflix. I find I think it's really good. I love stuff like this, like Ozark and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to do that while the phone charges up. I'm also going to sit here and think about what I'm going to do next because I, I can't do one outfit or one picture for the whole day. I'm aiming to get three today. 
Hey you guys, so I'm currently in a corner, my living room is not the tidiest right now, but I'm currently in this corner by the sofa. So this is my setup. So what I would do is assess an area, sometimes I try to get a mirror near me but it's not always necessary because sometimes the mirror can actually like distract me, like Richie. So um, because I have taken a picture here before with the Pampas and also I think this is quite everyone's quite familiar with this section. I'm actually gonna switch out the flowers over here because props are everything. So I'm gonna put these over here. I just kind of wanna break it up over here and make it look a bit different um, to like a usual picture. That way I could be anywhere in the flat in the living room and I'm kind of just trying to get a really white background. I did take some pictures here just now in a different outfit, like a white denim, belted like jacket type thing and it did look really good but I want to give this outfit a try before I go back in and do some more of them because I just did a few test shots. So let me first start by letting you know what I use to take these pictures. I have a tripod that has a ring light attached to it and I will leave a link down below for you guys. Super super good. I've had this for about two to three years now. I use this for my videos, my pictures just everything. It always comes in handy and I really like it. So I also have this phone um, like tripod, but it's not that tall. So I basically tie this with a hairband um, onto my normal tripod because as you'll see, the light comes on and off. So that's what the ring light does. So then I can put my phone in here. I've got it attached with hairbands and um, that is basically my setup. This did actually come with a remote, which I still have, but the battery has died. I would just be able to like pose and have a remote in my hand and kind of click. But then what I did find is I obviously always had to try and hide my hand. So a lot of the poses would look quite unnatural. <laughs> So I'm doing my test shots now, which is the camera facing me. Just to basically see if I like the background and the outfit with this look. I am feeling this. I think it's got a nice casual vibe to it. Um, and the reason why this is a test shot with it facing to me is because the camera quality on selfie camera is not great and you'll actually notice the difference. So I know it's easier to take pictures because you can see yourself, but it gets very fuzzy once the picture's taken. So what I do is I get the angle, I get an idea of how I want it to look first. Then when I'm happy, I turn the camera around and then I can't see myself in the camera, but I work. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. <laughs> so a couple more tests just to get the right angle. And then we're good. And guys, every single time I do another picture, like I will clean the camera every time I move the phone because your fingers get on that camera without you realizing and then you've got smudgy, grainy pictures. But just making sure that everything is as I plan and it looks good. So let's get started. I press the buttons on the side of the phone and I've got my mirror here so I can see myself. So right now, I don't like any of them, I don't, so we're going to try that again. <laughs> I like that pose, it's simple, it's like that. So while I'm waiting for my phone to charge and turn on, I feel like why not take some selfies because I'm liking the white and the denim and the gold earrings. I never actually take pictures with this camera, but let's give it a go and let's see what it looks like. Hello you guys, so it's a new day, it is Saturday, and I have got a little collaboration that I am about to shoot, so I wanted to get this in there. I'm going to be using my curtain, so I'll insert a clip of when I have done this before. So randomly, before I even knew this was a trend, I had done it, um, and everyone loved the pictures, so I've always wanted to go ahead and do some more pictures behind this curtain. And because I'm trying to do like a close-up, picture and show off these gorgeous earrings. 
I went in with the makeup today. I don't know if it's really showing on camera. It might show me quite pale. Um, my living room is a bit of a mess because so many amazing deliveries have come. Some of it top secret, so I can't show you guys just yet. But I'm working on something super exciting. Like I had a bit of a cry today. But anyway, this video is about Instagram pictures. So you guys, this is my setup right now and I'm gonna shoot it this way. So I've got a little bit of draping. Hopefully the camera picks it up. And now I think I've got good angles already. So I'm gonna turn the phone around the other way so I get a clearer image and get shooting. <sighs> and breathe, you guys. So I have done a little bit of shooting today. I don't even feel well, but I did this because I really wanted you guys to know about these gorgeous earrings. That is how I take my pictures. An insight, oh, phone's popping off. That is an insight into how I've been taking them. So I would just recommend playing around with different lighting, playing around with different angles and different outfits because even when an outfit can look amazing in real life but it just doesn't pop on, you know, in a picture and on Instagram it doesn't grab attention. So you've just got to think a bit more outside of the box. Maybe wear something that you wouldn't usually wear or pair something or add on more jewellery and bulk up your jewellery so it really pops and stands out. Like for example... I wouldn't really do this much eyeshadow on a normal day or highlighter but for the picture I need to do a little bit more makeup and um, make sure my hair is really perfect make sure everything is like you know so that it comes out crisp on line and that is basically it try different angles try things from there try things from there try things from there try things from there you get like 10 different pictures just by moving a camera around invest in a tripod or a ring light i'll leave links down below for the stuff that i use let me know what you think let me know how it goes for you let me know if you try out any of these things and tag me on instagram i want you guys to start tagging me on instagram so i can keep up to date with what you're doing and i need to think of some kind of hashtag that can be used on stories and across social media that just kind of shows that i inspired you to do something or you know just keep the conversation going especially during this time like let's keep that convo going so if you have any suggestions on a hashtag like jade inspires or i don't know something different or just jade loves jade loves i don't know um that would be amazing because then i can kind of see what everyone's up to see how your images are going tag me in your pictures you guys and i hope this video has helped you in some way anyway i'm gonna relax now no that's a lie i'm about to drink my cocktail and um i'm gonna think about food and i'm going to do some business that you guys will be seeing very soon. But you'll only see it if I work on it today. So, see ya!